Hello, my name's Cheryl. I am founder and CEO of Purple Moon Drama. I want you to jump back on here because I had some sound issues originally on my Facebook. Of course I did. Uh, but I wanted to recap on some of the key points that I went through in my Instagram discussion on how to set up your own youth theatre company. So point one that I covered was to really get clear on who you're serving and why you're serving them. Um, so that's discussions around your model. Are you a social enterprise? Are you a charity? Are you a commercial uh, youth theatre company? So whistle stop tour if you're commercial um so you know you're looking at companies like stagecoach um and you know dream arts they kind of have a model where you know parents pay for their children to come and 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 do your programs a social enterprise uh you can be partially grant funded um but you should also have a trading wing so um it is a full uh, it is a, a business all profits must be reinvested back into uh, the uh, operations um, and uh, one of the key aspects of being a social enterprise is that you have social benefit so you really are set up to do xyz and what xyz are you need to really figure out and write into your constitution so it really is key that you know if you are trying to serve uh you know uh disabled children is your is your youth theatre company spe uh, specifically for disabled children is it specifically for uh, 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 a disadvantaged area is it specifically for black children is it specifically for who are you serving what is the need what is the need of your service and once you've just figured out who you're serving and why your why what what's your why what's your big why statement think about how you're going to measure those things because if you're going to be writing funding applications and if you if you really just need to know who the hell you are so um you need to find out you need to set yourself goals like what's and uh, what what are you trying to achieve and you need to put the systems in place early on to be able to measure that so you can really make a case for why your youth company needs to exist and and, and what it's here to do um and then with time you should have the data to back up what you're about and and and, and why you're doing what you're doing so that's point one Point two is to really get support because it is not easy. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of people are in theatre uh, because they want a new Ferrari. I mean, you know, you're in it for the love and it can get really hard to exist as a, um, a you know, a sustainable uh, company um and that is you know it is what it is we're in the arts we, we it's a it's you're, you're in it because you're passionate about what you do you're in it because of the incredible impact that you can make you're in it because you want to tell incredible stories that connect and can broaden people's horizons that can affect people in ways that you know change their whole paradigm you know art has the power to do that so it's a completely noble thing to do i would say get support because a lot of the companies that don't have that longevity it's because they didn't find the right support um it, it probably starts with your board um uh, it can be an advisory board just people that have experience within the industry um an advisory board is key or you know if you're going to properly constitute board and you have a three three company directors at least if you're a, a social enterprise if you're a commercial if you've got you've got shareholders then you know but make sure you've got people who are going to be responsible and you're meeting with them regularly they can hold you to account they can you know set goals they can you know leverage their contacts they can uh you know it's really important partnerships because uh, with buildings as well, if you can, um, that's a really key one because massive overheads tend to be like space. You know, if you can 
create the right relationships where you can get space for free or at least discounted um, that's brilliant and that comes through getting the right support and um, you know getting mentors that might be able to open doors for you um, and yeah get you get you into buildings um, yes yeah, so the other one that I would say the other uh, the third tip for setting up your social enterprise is create partnerships um, so you know mutually beneficial partnerships create the win-win so you've got your 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 board or your 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 staff team whether you're part-time workers or full-time workers whether you're all in now how can you um create partnerships with um as i say buildings artists you know the artists are always looking for um people to actors if they're if they're going for an r&d process how can you create a win-win what if you've got a group of young people how can you set up a partnership that's really going to elevate their experience and create real valuable transformative experiences for these young people and you know what have you got that artist mm. is gonna uh, be looking for um likewise you've got so many other partnerships that you can create um with uh, housing associations sometimes they want to um they have budgets and they want to uh create an arts project and you can step in and maybe leverage some of the assets that you have um you know uh work that you've created in the past that can sort of contribute to uh a, a larger event that someone else is running um i mean it can come in all shapes and sizes but once you get good at creating partnerships looking tapping into what that company wants and making sure that you stay in alignment with what you're about because you know tip number one is know who the hell you are so you're not creating partnerships which take you massively out of, of alignment with, with with what you want to be doing um but you'll really stay true to yourself but you can actually you know exchange if, is it money is it space is it expertise? There's lots of things to be traded with once you start thinking about, okay, I have something of value. I've got a group of incredible uh, young people whose experience I want to boost as far as I can possibly get. I've got incredible assets like, you know, plays, devised pieces, um, I've got, you know, heaps of, uh, uh, you know, data about the benefit of this kind of work. Um, I've got, you know, I've got a mailing list of however long, like you, 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 you really have got a lot um, as, as you as you start to get going and seeing the value in what you have and then having conversations uh, 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 that enable you to get the things that you need to move you forward to the next step um and my final tip because i'm going to keep this short and sweet is to be consistent be realistic and that is to say you know rome wasn't built in a day um don't try and don't be a yes man don't say yes to everything because you'll end up burning out and running yourself flat out be very specific think about your budgets do what you can with what you have um, really think long term structure out what it is that you do you know if do you do weekly rehearsals do you do intensives you know do you just do masterclass workshops what is your thing and have it planned out um, and you know full cost recovery when you're doing grant programs don't try and sort of undercut yourself you'd be surprised people do it all the time um and i would also say don't be completely reliant on grant funded i just on grant funding i just don't think it's wise because you know you can put all this work into planning an incredible project and you write that funding form and 
you don't get it and then you know your project can't go ahead and there's some young people who were you know who were really excited about that program so actually you're just compounding the 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 whatever whatever disadvantage they may have so i would say um really think about ways that you can make your company sustainable uh, and that looks like so many different things for so many different companies and some people have run subsidized programs us at purple moon we run a subsidized program it's a really small amount but it, it, it it's important to us to continue um you know trading where we can um we sell tickets to our shows um we do online programs um and yeah we're always looking for ways to um trade because it's really important you have to see yourself as a business and that's not to say that you know everything has to be commercial but you have to think you know what if that funding doesn't come how can we make this happen we've always got a contingency for you know how to run this program on you know next to nothing um, because consistency is really important and that's how we've been able to have a show every single year since 2015 um and uh yeah we've stuck to that and um even this year we were able to get our, our shows out at the vaults um uh, luckily for us but um yeah i'd say try to be consistent and to be consistent you need to be realistic um you need to look at your resources you need to try and um not bite off more than you can chew you need to have sustainable model in place so that you can you're not completely dependent on grant funding you know if you are running a youth part meat part company to help people then you know maybe the subsidized model would make sense for you if you're running a completely commercial model that's absolutely fine too that's also um that's also great just make sure you've got your 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 balance sheet make sure it's healthy and and looking really good um but yeah those are those are my top tips if you want to set up a youth theatre company um my name's cheryl as i say i'm a ceo of purple moon drama we are always looking to connect with young people we've got a youth board who are doing incredible work um they're going to be coming together and, and they are now in the driving seat of purple moon drama i'm literally a glorified admin assistant i'm completely in service to these young people who uh, are going to come up with the ideas from the next project and uh, i'm going to do what i can to serve them and that was my front door so on that note thank you so much and um check out the website and join our mailing list